what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back once again <laughs> all right we're gonna be doing episode seven man i have been wondering thinking about some things that i want to change for the channel um but i'm not gonna discuss that right now anyways let's ju <laughs> let's just jump into this episode man last episode you know we got to see the 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 you know, the the ups and downs, you know what I'm saying, that's what I want to say, the ups and downs, um, we got to see a dragon, the ups and downs of a relationship, man, um, and you know what I'm saying, the high times, the low times, I do believe that these two belong together, even though they want to say that Geralt doesn't have feelings, and all of this other stuff, like they, um, witchers don't feel emotion, I don't believe that, so, that's crazy. If he didn't feel emotion, he would not say the things that he says. That's just kind of like a rumor or things people want to believe because he kills monsters or something. Like, we're not going to believe that, right? So, of course, they did feel something for each other and they ruin it. And the thing about it is that that's the funny thing about, you know, being in love with someone and them feeling the same way about you. You say shit you don't mean. You get what I'm saying? Especially when you don't want them to pursue something that you think might be detriment towards their health or, you know, themselves or something that you see going down the wrong road. But they are determined to get down that road and they want your support, but you just feel like you can't give them that support because you feel like um, that you're trying you're trying to prevent them or protect them from something and they don't want that protection and that could really mess up a relationship um it's stuff that i've been through in my personal life so that resonated with me very well so so yes so we're gonna jump into this episode and see what they have to offer us we still on the other hand of things somebody explained the timeline to me um in the comment section i'm also waiting for them to explain this in the show itself, whether by visuals or whatever the situation is. Um, so I'm not, um, I understand what the comment was saying, but I also want to see them portray that visually or somebody explains it in, you know what I'm saying? In some sort of way, they got to explain this because they can't just leave it up in the ear and just leave us to think like that as a viewer. So I want to see them explain it. Um, I'm not sure if this if the person that left the comment, if, if it was something that was not explained and they were just going to, they just explained it to me. I don't know if it was spoiler territory that the person went into. I don't, I, I, I don't know. It was just explaining to me how the timelines were going, who was before and who was after and why this is happening. Um, and it seems like some things are happening at the same time or whatever of what I was thinking. I wasn't necessarily asking for an explanation. It was more of like I wanted to understand and I was waiting on the show to answer it for me. So it's not necessarily that I'm thinking that it's a spoiler or anything like that. It's more of like I still want to see it explained in the show. You get what I'm saying? That's all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because it's not going to spoil my experience with it uh, based on that. Like, you get what I'm saying? So that's not going to spoil the experience. There's still much more to find out about the show. Um, so shout out to you. Anyways, thank you guys so much. See you guys for the review. Well, well, damn. <laughs> A lot of things was brought into perspective for me in that episode. And it just so happens that that's what I was talking about in the intro. Where I was saying, I'm um, talking about timelines. Um, that it seems to be kind of confusing. Some visuals. I need to see something that the show is portraying this for us to understand what has been going on. So basically from my understanding, you know, from my understanding, from what I'm watching for these seven episodes... Basically, what we seen of Geralt. So I didn't even know Geralt was there because it looked like what we saw at the beginning of the season in episode one. I think it was episode one that we saw it, right? Where we saw what happened with Sintra and all of that stuff that took place. Um, the Nilfgaardians Guardians attack and, and the Queen, you know, throwing herself out the window. All that stuff. Sintra, um, Siri escaping 
from that dude. She screamed, basically cracked the, the earth or whatever. All that stuff that we saw, that was a flash forward. So what we were seeing with Geralt and, you know what I'm saying, um, Renfrey and all of this other stuff that we've seen him go through, all of that stuff was taking place. And basically, we were watching Geralt's journey and how he ended up with the relationship with the, the with Siri, the character that we were introduced to, right? So I know all that stuff happened in episode one, two with Geralt and Renfrey, but that was like the current timeline. So they basically was telling us what was going to happen in those first minutes of the episode. Um, and then we got to see that. I don't remember if it was at the end of the episode that we saw the stuff with that was going on in Sintra or was it at the beginning? I don't remember exactly how it went down in the first episode. If it was at the beginning of the episode or at the end, or it was like showing con throughout the episode. I don't remember our episode one, but I know those two events took place. You know what I'm saying? Um, what happened in, what was the name of the place? Blaviken or whatever, <laughs> where he was, you know what I'm saying? Because he's now known as the Butcher of Blaviken or something like that. Some of these stuff is really hard to remember because they're, they're so not names that you're used to. And they're not easy to remember. It's not like Game of Thrones where the the names of places are really easy to to remember you know what i'm saying the red keep you know what i'm saying um dragonstone you know what i'm saying like is is stuff that we're used to hearing this is like a, a language from like eastern europe or some something like that where you're you're hearing language that you're not really used to so it's kind of just kind of weird it's just a little weird <laughs> you know what i mean so um, so from my understanding, that's what I'm understanding is that all that stuff that led up, cause we didn't even know that Geralt was there. You get what I'm saying? Um, at the time where they got, they got split up, you know what I'm saying? We didn't even know that. So that kind of blew my mind. And then these dudes, I, I, I'm curious to know what's happening to her at the end of the episode. I don't know what happened there at the end of the episode, but Next episode will be the last episode of the season. So I might put that out. I might just I might just put this out tomorrow for you guys to enjoy. Not not tomorrow. Not tomorrow, Wednesday, but Thursday. I might do it on Thursday. So maybe you guys can look out for that on Thursday. I might just finish it up on Thursday. Uh, but no promises, though. No promises because I do have a lot more to do. And you guys know what the schedule look like. If you don't know what the schedule is for the week, make sure that you have notifications turned on. And also look for my post. I post a, a schedule every week whether it be on the weekend or I, I posted this one on monday because um it was super bowl weekend i didn't get a chance to do it um the only thing i had a chance to do like earlier on in the day um on sunday before i actually went out to the super bowl was um freaking <laughs> what do you call it um I got a chance to do my hero. So um, I'm looking forward to see, but it, it's so good to see what led up to the whole thing though. I'm glad that they did that because it, um, I was thinking that everything that we were seeing with Geralt and them was a flashback, but it's actually, no, it was what we saw that was, that happened in between Sintra and Nilfgaard. That was a flash forward. So, cool beans man now i think i finally have a grasp on understanding what was taking place um but shout out to that subscriber man that um that left that comment really do appreciate that anyways man thank you guys so much can't wait to watch the last episode um we're looking forward to something i'm so glad that that dude turned down yennefer man i'm i'm glad i'm glad and the reason why i'm glad about it is because it's very typical you know what I'm saying? It's very typical thing that we do, men or women, that, you know what I'm saying? Like, you get your heart broken, you run to the ex. You get what I'm saying? If you have one, that's where you tend to go to. You get what I'm saying? It's a it's a weird situation. I've never done that. 
I've never done that, but it's very typical and it's very, it's considered normal to be honest in real life. That's men and women do that. Like, you know, they have their heart broken. They call the ex. I've, I've never done that. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? So it's just crazy. Um, but anyways, it's just to see that dynamic, to see that there's some sense of normalcy in this show that they, I I'm, was very surprised that they actually did that. You know what I'm saying? But she got shot down real hard. He's like, listen, man, we we both had choices and you chose power. You get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? So you, it was like to everything that we've been through right now, like what can we possibly, I might want kids. You gave up your womb. You know what I'm saying? And she keeps saying that they took, they took, that was a choice. You chose to give up your womb. That's what every, this is the second time I heard her say that. And I'm like, what? You gave up your womb for the beauty. Ain't nobody forced you to do that. So stop blaming freaking Aratusa for all that stuff. Like, she shouldn't do that. But as I said, man, I love... I can't I can't remember her name right now, but you guys know who I'm talking about. The, the, the lady that, you know what I'm saying, that taught Yennefer and stuff, you know what I'm saying. Um, her elegance comes off the screen. You get what I'm saying? It just comes off the screen. She 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 models it quite well. I wouldn't be surprised if that lady is exactly like that in real life. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, her elegance just screams out through the screen. You can't help but acknowledge it. You know what I'm saying? Like, the way how she talks, express herself. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, for a minute there, I was about to tear up when she said, please, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like the way, I don't think she even, did she even, did she squint one time? Did she even blink? I don't think she blinked when she was talking to Yennefer at all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it was crazy. But anyways, man, it was, it was good watching another episode. As I said, man, um, I might put out the last episode on Thursday if I get time to do it. Cause I do have a straight schedule going on from now i still have about um i have two i think it was like three more shows to react to before the day is over so look out look out for it if you don't see it then you know it's for another day um but if you do see it make sure you support it anyways for all you guys that stuck um that came over here from the google drive and came back and watched the reviews man Thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. If you did, leave a comment in the comment section and let me know because I am going to be start doing things for those people who help me with with certain things on the channel like comments and you know you leave likes and um and also if you watch my videos throughout, I'm going to start doing things at the end of the video that those people that don't watch that stuff won't have access to. Okay? So Look out for that. I'm planning to do some really big things in 2020 for this channel, especially the fact we're about to hit 4,000 subscribers. So I might just celebrate that with something. Who knows? Thank you guys so much. And I appreciate y'all. Leave a like, leave a comment. Subscribe if you're new. Your boy's out. Peace.